morning everyone happy friday i cannot believe it's already the weekend again the days are going by so fast and i have a lot to do before i leave i leave in nine days from today so a week from sunday i will be on my flight headed to my next contract which is utopia of the seas which is just so exciting but so crazy i do not have much time left at home and there's a lot i need to get done in the next nine days so we're gonna have to kick it into high gear and get some get some stuff done weekends are always fun even though i don't really have days of the week anymore because when i am home i'm on break so i'm not working like a set job obviously i'm always working on youtube but I don't have really set hours. I have to be somewhere at a certain time. So all that to say, every day of the week is kind of the same for me, but it is in fact Friday, which is the weekend. I don't really have any plans for the weekend just yet. We'll see what we get up to, but I am going to the rink today. I'm going to skate for an hour and then I'm going to coach a little bit. So I am excited for that. I do need to do some stuff around the house this morning before we are on our way. I haven't yet made my bed, so we are gonna just take care of that. That is good to go, literally took me 30 seconds. One thing I will say is I used to wake up and make my bed immediately. Now I'm letting it sit for a little while because you're supposed to let your bed air out. So that's something I've been doing for a bit now, but I just wanted to mention. I am going to miss her so much when I leave again. It does not get any easier saying goodbye to her and she never knows where I'm going. You're just the sweetest thing. Something I've been focusing on lately is drinking more water. I feel like I always have to consciously be thinking about it because I definitely am not getting the water intake I should. One thing that does help me is drinking water out of a straw. I don't know why, but it just makes it easier for me. I have been using this cup religiously just because I know it's 16 ounces exactly. So every time I drink it, I add 16 ounces, which is good, and this straw. I've also been putting a little bit of Crystal Light like liquid flavoring into my water, which helps switch it up sometimes when I want a little flavor. I'm gonna bring this in the bathroom and I need to get ready for the day. So we're gonna throw a little bit of makeup on. this morning I woke up early I went to bed really early last night I was super tired so fell asleep around 11 woke up at 6 15 and I have been doing a lot of work but there's a few more things I want to get done before we're heading to the rink one of which is organizing this mess Callum has been visiting for the past couple weeks and because of that my room has become a little bit of a mess obviously it's not that bad but there's a bit of clutter here some stuff here that I want to take care of so we're gonna organize this is looking so much better nice and neat everything is organized and I do want to work here for about 30 ish minutes or so I do need to write out my to-do list for the day because I have quite a few work things I want to get done I have to make a thumbnail for a video that's going live this morning also have some emails to answer so I'm going to work here I love my desk space I have the flexi spot standing desk and it has changed my life i mean i haven't been home very much in the last year or so but i got it last year and i have loved it and used it every single day that i've been home so as you can see you can adjust how high or low it goes it goes all the way down to this low not that i would ever sit this low but if i really wanted to like sit on the floor on my knees i could work here this is about where i like it to lay while i'm working and standing the next step to my little work setup is getting a walking pad so that I can actually walk on the treadmill while doing my work. But for now, I absolutely love this standing desk. I will have it linked for you, so if you want to check it out, I definitely recommend. It's really nice quality, and I love the look of it. It matches my room aesthetic perfectly. There's this really nice control panel right here. This is what you use to lower or raise the desk. There's also a USB slot on the side, and some manual buttons as well if you want it to go to a sitting position or a standing position. So I've also got this power outlet that came as an attachment to the table. 
this has been great for me so I can plug in my laptop and stuff while I'm working and the cords aren't just hanging everywhere. And I do also have a drawer as well, which is great. I have a lot of stuff stored in there I'm not gonna show you, but definitely use this for storage. We just drove to the rink. We've arrived now. I'm putting on my hoodie because it's gonna be cold in there and I'm gonna skate for an hour. First I'm gonna practice and then I'm gonna coach for about an hour and a half. So in total we'll be there about two and a half hours. But yeah, another day at the rink. I'm excited to skate. session went by really fast like the hour of practice flew by and then I took a few kids for lessons worked on their choreography which was nice they have a competition tomorrow so I didn't want to do too much I didn't want to change anything because it's just too short of notice for their bodies to like adjust or get used to the choreography so I just tried to accentuate the current choreography so I coached for about an hour and a half and now I'm waiting for my mom in the car. She should be here any any moment. But exciting updates. So if you did see my previous video, I did break my camera. I actually don't know what happened to it. It just stopped working. The lens was clicking and getting stuck. So it wasn't opening all the way and it just completely stopped working because of that. So I sent it in to Best Buy to fix it. However, it was going to cost way too much money just to have it fixed and it wouldn't even arrive back home in time by the time I need to leave for rehearsals. So they're sending it back. I'm gonna have Sony fix it because Sony will fix it for free. They have a one-year warranty. So I will send it to them, but I did purchase another Sony ZV-1 Mark II because I need to have the high-quality camera for not only these prep videos but also once I'm on my way to rehearsals because I won't get it back in time from Sony either. So that's kind of what's happening. Really unfortunate because I bought that camera in August so it's not even been a year but I do use it almost every single day. So I mean it is what it is. You know I didn't want to have to buy another new camera but I use it so much and I need it for work so you gotta do what you gotta do. All that to say, we are going to head to Best Buy from here. I'm going to pick it up. I already ordered it online. It was the last one in stock. So we're going to grab that and then we will be probably heading home. Oh, thank you so much. That's all right. Thank you. Here we go. Fresh new camera. We're only gonna stop at Best Buy, but mom wants to stop in the Nordstrom, so we're here. Okay, we're gonna take a very speedy, quick browse. If we're in Nordstrom, I have to take a look at the shoes. It's, it's just a rule. Ooh, slim pickings today. No shoes out in size four. Not that a four even fits me, but sometimes I can make it work for a heel. These are quite nice, though. Not bad. Not cute. I absolutely love the look of these like chunky gold hoops, but I think they're gonna be too heavy on my earlobes. These little dog toys are so cute. If Coco didn't destroy all of her stuffy toys, I would buy her these. But she literally needs the like heavy duty ropes and rubbery kind of toys because this will be ripped to shreds in about 30 minutes. It was ready already. Wow, that was <laughs> lightning speed. I walked in and it was already sitting there. Wow. 
the plaza on Niagara Falls Boulevard has a bunch of different shops. Like, it's a really good place to shop. They've got some different restaurants, and they have Starbucks. So, I'm starving. I haven't really eaten a lunch. I forgot to pack food. And we've been out and about for four and a half hours now. I wanted a coffee, and coffee should suppress my appetite a little bit until we get home because I'm starving. So, I got my usual. And literally, I put the order in on the app. We drove across the plaza, and it was already ready. So, some good service right there. Dad's cooking dinner. Take two. Oh, my friends are back. Hi, Pippi. It's almost dinner time. I'm very hungry, as I already told you multiple times. But the coffee did hold me over, so that was good. Mom made a little side salad as an appetizer. His dad is grilling. They smell amazing. Is it Cajun? Yeah. Nice. They look very tasty. Tasty. Mm-hmm. Is it good? Chicken's very gonna good. taste a little bit longer. Mmm. Very tasty. been working on editing this video this evening and it's completely finished so I'm exporting it now which I'm so happy about I didn't even really think I would finish it tonight so this is done and out of the way I'm just gonna proof watch it either tonight or maybe in the morning I have been burning this candle this evening and I can't even tell you how good it smells I got it from Bath and Body Works a while ago like I think I got it last December it's been a minute. I don't know if they still offer it, maybe just in the winter time, but it smells incredible and it's part of the White Barn collection. Cuckoo Bean! You tired? You tired, Bean? Yeah. It's 10.33, so I'm going to hop into bed. I wanna read a little bit before I fall asleep, so hoping I can read for about 30 to 45 minutes. I'm still reading this book from the cruise, so I want to make some good progress this evening and hopefully finish it um, by the end of the weekend. guys it is Saturday morning I woke up at 6 45 without an alarm like I had an alarm set for 7 30 but just woke up naturally so that was really great I've been reading on the couch for about 45 minutes my book is getting really really good it's the same book that I started to read on the cruise I just haven't really had a ton of free time to read especially with Callum being in Buffalo with me I just kind of put reading on the back burner, which I've really missed reading. So I want to try and finish this book either tonight or tomorrow, and then I can move on to the next one because I have a pile of to be reads and they're all physical books. So I want to read those before I leave. Anyways, it's been a very relaxed start to the morning, but now I want to get my body moving. Today is going to be a work heavy day and I also want to start packing some things or at least pulling some things to pack for my contract. So there's a lot I want to get done today. I feel like the best way to start the day is with a workout. We're going to grab our clothes and we're going to get going.
very good workout. I ended up working out for, let's see. In total, I worked out for an hour and a half, but 40 of those minutes were walking with Coco. So we had a really nice walk. Thought that would be a good way to finish off the workout. Maybe we'll go for another walk later today, but I'm feeling very gross. So I wanna hop in the shower and then we gotta make some breakfast. I didn't realize we were out of bread because I usually have a piece of toast with my eggs in the morning, but it appears we're all out, which is fine. I did end up making three eggs instead of two just to give me a little bit more because I thought two without a piece of toast wouldn't be enough, but this is delish. One of the tasks I have for myself today is to list a few things on Poshmark. This is the pile of clothes that I am selling. It's been sitting here for a month. Not proud to say it, but other things that I had to prioritize. Anyways, today is the day that we are gonna take some pictures and we are gonna post some stuff on my Poshmark. I will have it linked for you. If you're not following me on there, all of this stuff is very gently used and in great condition, so. Let's let's get to it. I'm going to put some music on to entertain me and we're going to take some pictures. It's about an hour later. We're making good progress. I didn't get through all of the clothes, but I wanted to get through as many as I could in an hour. I think I'm about halfway done, but it's very time consuming to put on the clothes. Like, it doesn't seem like it should take much time, but it actually does. This is a pile of clothes I've already taken pictures of, along with these jackets that are hanging up. So I just separated the piles just to not confuse myself. This is everything that I've taken pictures of. And then this is the pile that I still need to shoot, but I think I'm gonna leave this for another day. I just have far too many tasks that I need to do today, so. So I'm really happy that I took some pictures because I've been needing to do that for a long time. If we do half today and then half one of the days this week, I will be pleased that I can store it all and put it somewhere else so it's not just like sitting there. I have not even had coffee yet today or lunch and it's about 2.30 so you gotta figure out something to eat. I'm getting a little bit hungry and then I wanna make a coffee. Coco's been chilling. She's been sleeping. She's napping. To be honest, I don't think we have much food in the fridge. I mean, there's plenty for me to eat. Maybe I'll just do a Greek yogurt bowl. This is Protein Granola, the brand Millville. I think it's just from Aldi. I love a yogurt parfait. Such a simple little lunch, but very tasty. I really try to eat it as much as I can while I'm home because obviously when I'm on the ship, it's not really a thing unless I can get Greek yogurt on board, but really just depends. Final little touch is going to be a little drizzle of honey on top. She is beauty, she is grace, she is Miss Greek Yogurt Parfait. Looking delicious. The only thing that would make it better is if I had blueberries as well. But I'm probably gonna need something else as well, but we've got other snacks in the house. And I think when I finish, I'm gonna move on to the next task. I need to start packing and I also need to edit a little bit. So I think first we'll pull some clothes and then we'll move on to the laptop. And I would love to get another walk in today, if possible.
Diet Coke action. We don't have Coke Zero in the house. So diet will have to do, but I wanted a little something different aside from water. It's been overcast for most of the day, so I'm, I'm very pleased that the sun came out for dinner time. one of the first times that I'm actually ready early. This never happens. <laughs> Whenever I go out to dinner with my parents, I always end up being really close to the time or just like four, three, four minutes late. Anyways, I am all ready for dinner. This is my outfit. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really cute. You know when you have a vision for an outfit and then it actually works out how you hoped it would? That's what happened today. My curls are curling, like they actually fell really nicely. Sunglasses are just for an accessory. And I've got my straight leg jeans on with my fun little pink heels that remind me of Carrie Bradshaw. So this is a fit for dinner with my parents. We still don't know where we're going. So yeah, we're gonna go to dinner. It's gonna be nice quality family time, minus my brother, of course, and it's gonna be good. I got these like Cajun shrimp tacos. They were incredible. And then for an appetizer, we split the Parmesan truffle fries, which were exceptional. I, I love French fries. You can never go wrong, but those ones were quite tasty. So we didn't eat all of them. We've got some leftovers for another day, but I did eat all of my tacos. <laughs> they were very good. And now I am, I'm full, but I didn't overeat. But yeah, no other plans for this Saturday evening. I'm very much enjoying the time at home and not really making a ton of plans. Like I'm pretty tired. It's been a busy day. I've been able to get a lot of stuff done in the house, which is good, but I'm really looking forward to getting cozy and just relaxing for the rest of the evening and then hopefully getting another early start to the day tomorrow morning. <laughs> Nine thirty-four, and I am in bed. I don't think I've been this early in bed in years. Like the last time that I was in bed this early was probably when I was sick, which I don't even know when that was. So here we are. I really want to try and finish my book because I am on page 309 and there is 399 pages. So I probably won't finish tonight, but I want to try and get as close to the end as possible before going to sleep. And then tomorrow I wanna to start a new book because I have a whole collection of physical books that are just waiting to be read. I have been up since around 7.30. I read a little bit. I probably should have been a little bit more productive, but I have been scrolling on my phone a little bit, trying to get inspiration for short form content because I'm trying to grow my Instagram more and I really need to get on 
TikTok. Well, I don't even know nowadays because it might be getting banned. I, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't really go on TikTok much, but anyways, I need to get ready now because I have a coffee date with Jess and Lauren. So we are meeting at a cute little cafe, hang out a little bit, and then we might go in some little shops. I don't know. I was hoping it would be sunny so we can walk outside, but I don't think it's raining. So as long as it doesn't rain, we'll be good to go. But I literally have to leave the house in seven minutes. So <laughs> I need to do my makeup as fast as possible. I finished my book last night. It was so good. I was not expecting that at all. I had my suspicions about who was guilty and what had happened, but I definitely was not expecting that. So I really enjoyed the book. I actually finished it last night. I read about, I don't know, I read for probably an hour and a half, I would say, and then went to bed. And now I've started another book. I bought this one at the library for like 50 cents. So I don't know how good it's going to be because I haven't seen anyone read it before, but we will find out. Fit check for today. I've got my loafers on and we're ready to go. made it back home. I did not come home empty handed. I bought two things. So we went into this plant-based bakery and I got a cookie that's plant-based and gluten-free. It's an Oreo stuffed cookie. It looks insane. So I thought we would try that. Treat yourself a little bit. Then I also got a pair of pants from a boutique. We were in there for a while and I was debating. So I decided to try them on and they were perfect like they fit me perfectly so these are the pants they're like a slouchy pant nice green color and the length is perfect on me which is very rare so i decided to get them they've got little pockets drawstring these are gonna be good for the contract i feel like i'm gonna get a ton of use out of these so i got these and that's it we had a really good time it is now one o'clock i'm not quite hungry for lunch yet but we're getting there I did a muffin. I've been working hard for a couple of hours and now I want to run to Target because I want to pick up some of the toiletries and makeup things that I need for the contract. And also, today is Cinco de Mayo, so I want to get some margarita mix so we can have a little margarita with dinner. Good news, I got the margarita mix. I haven't tried this kind, it's the Tres Agaves, organic margarita mix. It looks pretty good. So we're going to have this with our fajitas for Cinco de Mayo. Cheers. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Mm. That's good. Not bad, not bad. Mm. It's pretty good.